I am Adam Hernandez with the Reedley College Wildland Fire Training Program. This is the Wildland Fire Instructional Video Tool Series. Today we will cover the standard Pulaski and the Super Pulaski by showing proper form and technique in use as well as the basic elements of field sharpening. To begin, we have a standard Pulaski. This tool is made up of two ends, one being a grubbing end for line construction and the other an axe head for the use in cutting or chopping. Here you can see the grubbing end marked by its short width and key thickness, as well as the sharp axe head, all connected through one headpiece. Next we have the Super Pulaski. There are many versions of this tool, quite similar to the regular Pulaski, with only one noticeable difference being its wider, thinner grubbing end, representing more of a scrape. When not in use, the tool's sharp edges should be sheathed or taped. Here demonstrated is how to tape the grubbing end as well as the cutting end on the head of the tool to ensure safety and transport. Next we will discuss three common safe and practical ways to carry the Pulaski. The first method being a two-handed neutral grip on opposite ends of the handle holding the tool out front while keeping the axe edge down and away from the body to ensure no accidental cutting. The second method is a single-handed grip on the handle close to the tool head with the tool handle out in front as well as the axe end face down and away from the body. The third method will also be a single-handed grip on the handle close to the tool head with the handle tucked behind you while being tight to your back and pack running the length of your arm. Also making sure to keep the axe end faced away from your body. If you are walking on the contour of a slope, you should carry the tool on the downhill side. In the event one should lose their footing on the slope, having the tool on the downhill side will promote the tool to move away from the firefighter as gravity takes the tool downhill. Next, we will discuss posturing and tool use by using field guides and demonstrations. Here, we see our demonstrator in a bent, low position, maintaining adequate posture and performing deliberate swings. We will also see him maintain this posture while adding a new element of movement, creating the ideal line construction method of hit and go. We will now see the demonstrated effects of using the grubbing end to lead line construction by scraping away the top layer of surface material, breaking up the continuity of the ground fuel. You want to avoid digging into the dirt as this will expend unnecessary energy and will diminish line productivity as well as another method of using the full side of the head to remove fuel. As the hand line is created and the surface fuels are removed to bare mineral soil, be sure not to create a berm or a piled accumulation of scraped material on the green side of the line. This berm has the potential of being a receptive fuel bed for ember wash, convective, and radiant heat sources. Next, we will demonstrate how to use the axe head to remove roots, stobs, or any other fuel impeding the line. Initiated by a call out and a check to see if the area is clear to swing, the demonstrator will announce their actions and use their full body to safely raise the Pulaski overhead and use a chopping motion to cut and remove the fuel. Lastly, we will demonstrate one of many ways to properly and efficiently field sharpen your Pulaski. This method involves a seated position with the tool head raised above and resting on one leg with a handle tucked below the opposite leg to secure the tool and create a stable platform for sharpening. Now we will cover how to sharpen both standard and super Pulaskis. Starting with the grubbing end or scraping end of both tools. We will start by making sure our angles match up with the heel of the Pulaski head using the bastard file to guide us. We will use smooth and consistent motion opting to try to use the full length of the file. As for the scraping edge on your Pulaski, you will follow a scrape guide to get your angle. You will also attempt to maintain an even and consistent scraping edge. This edge should be flat and consistent. You will need to make controlled strokes with your file to ensure that you don't create a rounded edge. Lastly, we will discuss how to properly file your axe edge. To do this, using a bastard file, you will file starting from the shoulder towards the edge making smooth and consistent strokes. 
make sure you are not dragging your file on the backstroke as this can damage your file. You can learn more detail about sharpening in our Pulaski sharpening video. Thanks for watching, and remember, iron sharpens iron.